first you set the mood. Hi guys. Step one. Step on into the bread truck and come with me on a little culinary cabaret. First, Are you gonna take off your clothes? We light the lamp. We place it in the lantern. Step two. Step two. We make your dreams come true. <laughs> what we are gonna do here today on the Bread Trucker channel is we're gonna bake some banana bread. We have some uh, bananas here that are getting a little too brown for my liking to eat. And we're gonna whip them up into a little bit of banana bread. Why don't you like to eat them like when they're like that? Uh, they're just not pleasing. The texture mainly. I love the flavor of. Um, I love the flavor of brown bananas because they get a little sweeter. They like overripe, and uh, I've heard that they're even healthier for you when you do eat them that way. But for me, it's just a textural thing that I just don't really enjoy. So we're gonna make banana bread out of it. And we're going to try out another recipe with this new Omnia oven. This will be the last thing we really need. i got to prepare all the ingredients first. But just to show you what we're going to be cooking with is an oven on a propane stove in a van life bread truck. Uh, the, bread, the banana bread is going to go in there. This is the stove apparatus, and that's that. That's the oven apparatus. Uh, what did that oh. say? Stove? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I meant, I meant oven. Uh, one of the, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to melt a little bit of butter. We need a stick of butter for this recipe. And this butter is getting a little bit melty. Uh, Perfect. Maybe you don't even need to heat it, actually. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to heat it a little bit. I think that's about a... I'm going to go with that being about a stick of butter. One thing that I read on this recipe, it said it's very forgiving. So that's that's perfect for us. <laughs> well, we're, we're just kind of winging it, too. We don't have a measuring device in here, so... We don't really know what... Uh, it probably called for unsalted butter as well, which we don't have. But we actually just have the only butter that they had at the grocery store. The um, thing about us is that we're really good cooks. So things kind of just come out good when we um, do our best and just wing it. Unless it's burnt crescent rolls. I thought they were good. I didn't have any issue with them. That's true. They were still pretty good. Yeah, I thought they were fine. They were a little, a little bit dark, but not a big deal to me at all. Oop, don't want to. Let that fall out. This is our uh, fridge set up here. We have a cooler with ice. Mm -hmm. Not sponsored by Yeti. <laughs> it's just a cooler, just but a nameless, brandless cooler. It's actually a really great cooler. <laughs> uh, we just needed the milk out of there, right? I'm gonna put the butter in here so it can kind of harden up some. Okay. Because it's getting a little bit soft. Okay, that should be good. Right now the temperatures in here is just about 40 degrees, so it's pretty dang good for, for a cooler. The butter is already probably warm enough. We just have to, we just had to melt it a little bit. So, uh, I guess we'll throw the description in the description below, we'll put the recipe that we're using to make this uh, bread. But like I said, we're not being very strict on the portions or ingredients, and we're just kind of winging it. Mmm, that smells good. Smelled like the melted butter smell? Mm hmm Smell like a movie theater popcorn? Mm hmm <laughs> Okay, that's totally melted now. Okay. Um, how much uh, milk did it say? Do you remember? It's right there. I can get it. Mm, it reminds me of like crab legs. It says we need two eggs. OK. 
Okay. And ooh, a quarter cup of milk. Two eggs and a quarter cup of milk. Is everything in picture? Can you see everything? Yep. Should I crack it into here? Or we're, we're just going to mix it all together, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's up to you if you want to scramble the egg first, because normally you would be putting the egg in before the flour to get it all mixed in. But no, we're just going to we're just going to wing it. We're going to go. We're going crazy, renegade, van lifestyle here. So what he's pouring that into is a mixture that I already made that has flour. Two cups of flour, I think a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, and I think it was like a, a cup of sugar. And vanilla? And it's, yeah, maybe a teaspoon of vanilla, something like that. Okay, half a cup of milk? Quarter cup. Quarter cup, okay, that's not very much. Okay. I would put the... Um, butter into the mixture first because the milk is cold okay you know so i'd milk, mix that all in and do the milk after okay i'm thinking that's close to a cup it's only a quarter cup that we need so i'm gonna drink it down till look at that pretty cup i made i think that's that's more in the ballpark a quarter quarter cup mm, this smells good already what's it smell like and vanilla and, and flour <laughs> Where's that flour from? Uh, it's locally uh, made flour. Locally milled. Milled flour. Because the store didn't have any, so we found a farm that had some. Yep. Okay, there goes the melted butter into the into the mixture. We're just mixing that nice and thoroughly. Trying to get all of the flour wet and blended. And the milk's gonna go next, so we still have a little bit more moisture to add to this. Since we don't have a measuring cup, I'm gonna hold back a little bit. That way, there's room to make it wetter if we need to. But I've um, never really made banana bread before, but I have seen it made. And from my recollection, the dough is very loose. and Yeah, it's almost cake. Yeah, it's like you could pour it into a pan. It doesn't really... I yeah. think we're going to go with a little bit more of the milk. Yeah, I and mean, you got the bananas too, so I don't know what that's going to do to it. Yeah, I don't know how much moisture that might add, but the last thing to go in is the ripe bananas... This is more of the consistency right here that um, I would expect from a, a banana bread. That looks about right. Mm -hmm. I think that's gonna be great. Now this is gonna be a long video because these this bread is gonna take an hour to, uh, to cook. So we're not gonna film the entire cooking process, but we will film the action packed <laughs> pieces. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to break it up as I put it in and when I stir it, it'll, it'll break it up a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, you're supposed to mush it with yeah. a fork. Yeah, I'll mush it. Mush it. Mush it good. This recipe actually calls for three very ripe bananas, but we only have two. Yeah. So again, we're just winging it. Very forgiving and, uh, recipe. Not going to worry about it. I'm sure this will come out just great. Do you guys eat these little strings off the side of bananas? Some people pull them out, some people eat them. You know, this banana is really not even all that ripe. People use much darker bananas for a banana bread a lot of times, so. Like, it's actually not even brown. 
I, this one's not that bad. I could totally still eat this, but, you know, just to make you guys a nice little video about making banana bread in the bread truck it makes sense. And then we get to eat it. You could put chocolate in it if you want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add, once everything is mixed, I'm gonna add some chocolate chips as well. So this goes into the compost. Okay, so let me mush this up. Oh, yeah. Mush that banana. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be great. I, I have a feeling this is going to come out just fine. I feel like I need uh, pictures with my phone as well so that we can dual post. We could post it on Facebook and Instagram. You want to hand me your phone? I can dual yeah, That'll be hard. Record. I don't want your video quality to be <laughs> sacrificed over pictures, you know? I'm pretty okay. talented. Yeah. I don't know if this is actually going to mash it enough. I, gotta... I wonder if I should have mashed these bananas in a bowl first and then added them. I think probably most people would do this like in an electric mixer. Why do you need an electric mixer when you got guns like these? You see don't. That? You see that? You see that? <laughs> no, show us again. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go for a couple of chocolate chips. If you guys don't have kitchen scissors, highly recommend it. Kitchen scissors are awesome. These are actually not kitchen scissors. They're just <laughs> scissors that I use in the kitchen. So I'm gonna go with, oh, and they're mini too. I forgot I got the mini ones. I'm gonna go with about a half a cup. What do you think? Yeah. I don't want it to be too chocolatey. Yeah. Maybe just a little bit more. Always just a little bit more. <laughs> That's probably about That's good. plenty. No, we've got it. Now you need more control. milk. Why? Oh, the drink. <laughs> right. Chocolate and milk. One of my favorites. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty good. Okay. Smells good. It smells banana bready. It smells like it should, I think. Okay. So now that that part is done. Constant van life shuffling of things. Yeah, the van life shovel. It's a shuffle. It's a real struggle. Yeah, that doesn't really go, but... Okay. Now, we're going to take the oven and get it ready to apply the bread mixture into it. Set the lid aside. We're not going to use a lot of these parts. We have some parchment paper here and a grill rack. These things are not going to be used. These are extra parchment papers. These won't be used either. And we have a 
a couple of silicone layers. Which one should we use? Redder? I don't know. Or, uh, we'll go with this one because this one looks a little nicer. Okay, I'm just going to give this a quick rinse just because it's brand new. So then you're supposed to grease it, but I don't know if you need to do that with the silicone. I don't, I don't think we're going to have to grease it. I, I think we'll just leave it because, you know, the silicone and should be able to just peel it right out, no problem. Um, should I put it on this side? Probably. Okay, now we're going to fire up our oven. We're going to keep it on a very low temperature. It cooks for a long time. It cooks for an hour. So uh, we'll get this centered right. Let that st start heating up some. But what we found last time was that the temperature in here it gets very hot inside of this oven on a very low flame. So uh, we're not going to get it quite as hot this time. We're going to work on keeping it around 350 degrees for about an hour, which will only be like a smidgen of um, flame. Yeah. So set this on here. I'm just going to go ahead and let that heat up just for a second, just because there's some water in there. Or should I? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not going to screw it. Okay. Forget about it. This is what we're going to do. Now we're just going to transfer. This, this is the good part. We're going to transfer the the mix into the pan. Ah, oh, yes. You could read my mind. <laughs> I can't actually really see what I'm doing, you're so great. let you're me know great. if I'm yep, going yep. off. No, oh, you're doing off awesome. course. I can follow you. Okay, you can chill with it right there. Let me uh, scrape down the sides of the pan and I'll get the rest in there. Wish I had the spatula. Yes, yeah, spoon. I do have a spatula in here. A spoon might be easier. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the spoon out in, in a minute. This looks like about the right amount for this pan, right? You put know. two eggs in there, right? Yep. Um, yeah. I ha don't imagine it's going to rise up that much or anything. I think it'll be good. Let me switch to the spoon. It's rather a warm day today. It's like pretty hot in here. Mm-hmm. Let me open the window. Sure. Because we can that easily. Well, back when it was door, it was still pretty easy to open. You just go like this instead. You want to get all these good little all these good little things scraped down. You don't want to waste any of your banana bread mix. Mm, it all looks pretty level too. Are you gonna give it a little tap on the counter when you're done? A little tap? What do you mean? To level it out? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, that's about it. I think we're looking great. Can I come in for a close-up? Yeah, do it. Let's see this thing. <laughs> Yummy. I think that looks pretty legit. Like, that's the way a... That's the way, um... The, the dough usually works, looks, or batter, or whatever you call it. Um, 
banana bread batter. And then you place it on the stove like that. It looks like it's perfectly centered. And then we wait. I'm gonna monitor this very closely. Right now, um, it's up as high as it was when we cooked the crescent rolls. But I'm only gonna do that for a couple minutes because the, I believe this setting is too high. But just to warm everything up to temperature, then I'm gonna turn it down way low. So let's take a look and, at what uh, the flame looks like. Can we see it? Yeah, and if you'd like, you could kick this back even further. There you go. Can't really see too well, but. It's a very low setting. Like when we cook, it's usually much higher than that, unless we're just. But you said you're gonna turn it lower than that? Yeah, I'm gonna turn it down even lower. I'm gonna get the probe out again and kind of monitor what's happening inside the, the oven with this little thermometer right here. Let's see. Okay, so as that preheats or heats up to temperature, we'll just kind of keep an eye on this and see how high it goes. If it gets up over 300 degrees pretty quickly, I'm definitely going to kick this back down. But I definitely want it to be, get up to 300 degrees. The recipe called for it to be 350. Yeah, 350, so... So I think it wouldn't... We wouldn't want it that high in here. Because it's right up against the flame. I feel like it could burn. Well, I mean, if this gets up... We needed to get to 350, but this only goes up to 300. So, 311. So it's kind of hard to say... What does it say right now? 245. So it's raising. It's It's getting up there. It's 255 now. It's definitely warming up in there quite a bit. And I should set a timer. It's nine o'clock. And I think the recipe said 55 to 65 minutes or 50 to 65 minutes or something. It said check it at 50 and then check it every five minutes after that till it's done. Okay. Nice so... golden, a nice brown top, I think. Yeah. So we're getting up now to 285 degrees in there. We're almost getting to the baking temperature. And um, I wonder if the, that little trick, you know how you take a toothpick and you stick it in a baked good. And if it sticks, it's it still needs to be cooked a little bit more. That will probably work with this, I imagine. We could take the probe, stick it in there, kind of see how moist it is inside and judge whether or not it's done. I don't know if the probe but, um, would work because it's metal, so I don't know that anything would stick to it, really. Yeah. But we'll have to see because we don't have a You could go outside toothpick. and get a stick. I could make a toothpick. <laughs> right, totally. But, uh... Well, no. Yeah. We're getting up to the top end range of this thermometer. It's not capable to go any higher than 311. We're at 307 right now. And actually, it's kind of stalling out, so... I think last time it stopped at 308, didn't it? Mm -mm. No, it went all the way. And then it said high. It said 310.8. Mm -hmm. Right there, 310.8. Mm -hmm. And then it said high, which meant it went over its capacity. So it's going to say high in just a second here. And, um, yeah. <sighs> what happened? It doesn't smell like banana bread in here. <laughs> so... I think we're there. I think we're at the capacity of the thermometer. I'm waiting, just waiting for it to say hi. Hi. Well, we're going to cut the camera off. Uh, we got a lot of baking to do, an hour's worth of baking. When it's time to check in on this, we'll turn the camera back on and kind of show you where we're at and what's going on with it. And then the eventually the final product yep it just said hi so we will check back in with you guys in just a few minutes and see what's happening we are at the 45 minute mark and we're going to take a little peek just to see what's happening under the lid oh my goodness look at that holy crap it looks perfect all right that is a great sign are you excited <laughs> 
so bright. <laughs> It's so bright. Are you more excited so about excited. the bread or are you more so hurt by the light? I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so oh, excited. yes. I'm really, that looks amazing, didn't it? Like, I'm really stoked about that, but. It's all right. funny that it's all slouched aside because the van's not really level. Oh, I didn't really notice. <laughs> it's all yeah. slouched to the back. Yeah. The van, it, it, this, I think it's because I built I the mean, counter a little bit. The cake, uh, the cake is level, but. The counter's not. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll check back in in another 10 minutes because that will be its least amount that it said to bake was 55 minutes, right? Yeah. Okay. 50 or 55, yeah. All right. We'll be right back. All right. It's been a few minutes and we're going to check one more time. Ellie, what do you think? <laughs> it's, it's a little less bright. No. <laughs> I think we should check. Ready? No, 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 okay, you're gonna you're gonna do the lifting. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's rising, 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 but it's definitely not ready. It needs like ten more minutes, wouldn't you say? Yeah. At I least goodness. at least because it hasn't cracked five. yet. You know, like it usually cracks it's around. It's starting the top to get that and... dried out look, but it's not it needs to get brown a little bit on the top. Yeah. It needs I'm... to almost be like caramelized on this. Mm -hmm. Caramelized. I wonder if we should kick it up a little notch, or you think the temperature is no. good? I think it's good. Okay, we're going to wait another 10 more it. minutes yeah. and uh, check it out. Yeah. All right. See still you soon. Bright, still bright. Okay, we're at the 65-minute mark. It's been an hour and five minutes. That's the maximum it says on the recipe to cook it. So For a traditional oven. Definitely, yeah, for a traditional oven. So we're definitely going to check it again right now and just see. You ready? Take a look. Get in there nice and close. Here it comes. And we still don't have that crackly top, okay. but I don't know. I mean, should we call it quits? Should we? Could you tell at all what the bottom looked like? It looked a little dark around the edges, but it didn't seem like super dark. We could be at a slightly lower temperature than 350 right now, too. We just don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Cook it a little more. When I felt it with my finger just then, it was pretty firm. It didn't feel super wet or anything. It felt pretty dry. I, I mean, either know. way, I think that you could take it out now and it would be fine. But you know what I I'm think... going to do? I'm going to use the probe and just see if anything sticks to it. That way, you know, I can kind of just see if it's wet inside still. It came out nice and clean. There's nothing stuck at all. I know this is metal, so it's not going to be the same as like a toothpick, but um, I think it's pretty dry inside. I think it's pretty cooked all the way through. You may want to just call it. What do you think? Up to you. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. What what is, what is your gut telling you? I mean, I would probably do it for a little bit longer, but. Like five more minutes. Sure. Okay, we're gonna go five more minutes and then we're gonna call it. That's okay. gonna be the end. All right, we'll be back in five. Okie dokie, this is it. This is, I think we're gonna call it no matter what. But let's take a look and see how we're looking. Yep, it doesn't seem like it's getting any more crackly or anything like that. I think we're pretty good. It's got a nice feel to it. I'm going to go ahead and kill the heat. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Oop, that's the wrong way. Okay, I'm killing the heat. I'm going to set this aside. And I'm just going to move this over to the cool side. For now. Okay. So we're just going to let that sit for 20 minutes, right? No, 10 minutes like that. And then we'll remove it from the pan, let it cool a little bit further. And then we can maybe start giving it a little bit of, like kind of slice it up and try it out. After about 20 minutes of cooling, 10 minutes in the pan, 10 minutes out. Bada bing, bada boom. And there we go. So I'm pretty excited. It looks pretty darn great. It is crooked though, like, cause this side is low. Cause it's, it's, Cause, it's higher on this end than that end. So I don't it's know if little... you can really see that on camera. Yeah. It's really, it's kind of, yeah, it's, it. it's pretty, you know, it's pretty even, but there's definitely a little bit of an angle because we're in a van and 
the van doesn't sit exactly perfect and this countertop probably isn't exactly perfect because I installed it and you know it's just a bunch of wood that I cut up and threw into a truck so it smells great it smells really good I, I think it I mean the texture feels great like it it's nice it's got a little crust to it to, on the top like it's not crisp but I think it's I think it's gonna be excellent it yeah I really... think that the other side's gonna be pretty brown Oh, like the underside? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I can see it's it's pretty brown around the edges, you mm -hmm. know? I just, I don't, I, I think I think we're looking really good. I'm excited. I can't wait to uh, let it cool and... We're baking in a van. <laughs> in a bread truck. In a bread truck. We're baking, baking bread. Baking bread in a bread truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're baking bread in a bread truck. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. Well... We will check back in another few minutes when this has rested for a while and maybe cut into it and kind of see if we can have a slice. Give it a taste test. Okay, we're just gonna take it out of this. Uh, we're gonna do a little move, a little movage, a little movage, a little movage, movieage. I'm gonna just reach in there, give it a pull. Oh my goodness! Look at that! Wow. Oh, I think we're, I think we're looking at like perfection here. Look at that. What do you think? It oh, needs yeah. to cool a little bit more, but I think it's pretty great. Well, we don't really have a drying rack. Like, well, we have the stove. We could just use. We could just put it on there. I know the things are a little bit far apart, but this seems to be holding is this together. Cool? Uh, yeah. You could just flip cool. it on there, maybe. It's a little too small. It doesn't really. Oh, fit if you if you flipped it over. That know. looks like it would fit perfect. Can I just try? Does it fit this way? Oh, just to just to transfer it. Just to it? flip it. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Okay. Beard hair. Gross. It was on the bottom. It wasn't touching the food. Oh my oh, god. Oh my goodness. It's perfect. It's so sticky. It's like perfect. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. Do you see the steam coming out of it? Wow. Yeah. Game changer. It came out great. You know, I don't know if I can just like throw it on there. No, just though. leave it on here. No, it needs to like, cool. like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we'll just leave it there to cool. I think, I think it's great. I mean, yeah, it's not falling through, nothing like that, but I think we've, I think we've done well. Imagine how fun oh it's going to be to feed our friends things like this. No kidding. Like, bake a fresh loaf of bread. This is man like, life luxury. No doubt. This is, like, penthouse uh, status. Moving on up. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, like, when you're out in the desert for weeks at a time and just are, like, eating the, the bare minimum. <laughs> yeah, you're eating, like, you know. Rice and beans. Yeah, you have canned goods and rice and beans. and This, this is going to up our game for sure we could bring a bunch of dry ingredients although you know this did require milk and butter so like it did require some stuff but so i'll find recipes that don't yeah we're gonna be getting um the bread truck upgraded more and more as we go along adding a fridge for example and the cleanup is so easy yeah look and at it's, that it's already clean uh, that's all I had to do is just rinse it out. It didn't even stick to this pan. Yeah, you probably didn't this, even um... need to rinse it, right? It just well, became... no, it did have a little bit of um, a little pieces, crumble. a little yeah, just a little layer of, you know. But I just rinsed that out, and it's good to go. The pan didn't get dirty at all. It did not touch this one bit. So the whole the pan and everything is completely clean. I can start putting it back together to um, for storage. Um, well, this one, I'm going to let this one dry, but, uh, that was super cool. Super cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm stoked. So another 10 minutes of cooling on there. And then we can slice it. And then we'll ready, but we'll be ready for a taste test. Okay. Excited? So excited. So excited. We've let this cool for about 40 minutes and we're just going to, Cut it open and have some. A little sample. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So good. Mm. 
it's got a little a little bit of crisp on the on the edges there. Nice. Okay. Ooh, what do you think of that? Huh? Oh, it looks pretty great. This thing's hard to focus up close. I see a little face. Do you? Yeah. Anyone else see a face? <laughs> like the mouth right here? Yeah. And the eyes and the nose? Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to cut it. I'm just going to cut this in a couple pieces and we'll have some. Do you usually eat um, butter on your banana bread or no? Mm -mm, just so much butter in there. Oh, it's terrible. Just kidding, it's great. <laughs> Paul, like, there's no, ch like, not even a chance you would say it was terrible. <laughs> I didn't believe you for a second. Mm, that is so good. Okay, let me. Let me cut you that. Huh? Yeah, can you get that? Mm -hmm. now? Oh, it's so bright. <laughs> get over it. Mm. That's right? pretty good. It's nice and like gooey banana y. Mm -hmm. It would be good with some walnuts if we had walnuts. They, mm -hmm. Sometimes they put those in um, banana bread. Yeah, it's got like a little bit of hardness on the outside. The chocolate chips chocolate are good. The chocolate chips are perfect. Yep. I love the little. Delicious. Little bit of chocolate flavor. Man, that is great. Amazing. We, we've done well. The Omnia oven. It's a winner. Huge fan. Yep, that's totally a game changer. We're gonna. And they're not sponsoring this video. They are not sponsoring this video. We actually paid for this product with our own money, and you know, there's no skewed opinions here <laughs> whatsoever. Nope. Just the honest truth. Yep. So that's it, guys. That's it for this video. You gotta. I'm trying to get in the picture with you. <laughs> oh. That's so we're, bright. We're doing the outro. <laughs> so that's Can it, guys. Me, nope, you're good. Okay. That's it, guys. We're wrapping this up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for checking out our cooking video, making bread in the bread truck. What else? Mm, maybe next time we hang out with you, we'll make you some bread. Yeah, totally. All of our van life friends are going to be getting baked goods in the bread truck from Can't now wait. on. I love feeding people. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, if you'd like the description, if you'd like the recipe to this banana bread, I'm going to throw it in the description of this video below. Make sure you hit that like button, and we'll catch you in another video really soon. Bye, guys. Bye.